If you're looking for passage to Solstein, too bad. I'm not going back there anymore. If you're looking for passage to Solstein, too bad. I'm not going back there anymore. Surprised you've never heard of it. It's an island northeast of here. That's a small dark elf town called Raven Rock, and a handful of Nords living in Skull Village. But I'm not going back there. There's something wrong about that place. Sure. Yeah, that's me. Why? Who sent you? Now hold on. That wasn't my fault. I didn't know they were going to attack anybody. I don't even know how I got here. It's hard to explain. I remember those people with the masks coming on board. But then, the next thing I remember, I was here, and they were gone. And that's not right, losing whole days like that. There's been something strange going on there for a while. But after this, I'm done. Not going back to Solstein. Have you been listening to me? I'm not going back there. All right, you have a point. Taking you back to find out who sent them is the least I can do. Besides, maybe you can put a stop to whatever's going on over there. I owe them a bit of payback myself. Well, here we are. This is Raven Rock. Can't say I'm all that glad to see it again. Good luck. Maybe you can figure out what's going on around here.
I don't recognize you. So I'll assume this is your first visit to Ravenrock, Outlander. State your intentions. Mirak, I... I'm not sure. Well, I do. Just remember, Raven Rock is sovereign territory of House Redoran. This is Borrow, not Skyward. While you're here, you will be expected to abide by our laws. Any questions? Raven Rock started out as an Imperial settlement. The Empire decided to abandon it, just as my people were first setting foot here. They left the town a shambles, and when House Redoran took over, we turned it around and it became ours. And even if it's been a struggle to make this island livable, we're proud to call it home. I have to be. The second counselor, the security of Raven Rock, is my primary concern. This isn't exactly the city of Blackwell. We're on the frontier out here. We've had more than a fair share of troubles. After all we've been through together, I refuse to let Councillor Morvane down. Councillor Morvane, House Reverend's representative on Solstein. A second councillor, it's my job to support him and make certain his rule is enforced. Your ignorance of our homeland doesn't surprise me. It's the capital of Morrowind. Been that way ever since Mornholm was sacked by the Argonians. I don't visit there often anymore, but we still get the occasional supply ship and visitors from there. Quite a while ago, yes. They cut a bloody swath across most of the southern region of Morrowind. Nobody seems certain why it happened. Attempted expansion? Revenge for the enslavement of their people, or perhaps both. Whatever the case may be, thousands of Dunmen needlessly lost their lives. Many more were exiled from their home. I... I'm unsure. I swear I know the name, but I cannot place it. I don't think so. I'm not... The, the name has something to do with the Earthstone. I'm not sure what. Giala. I was starting to wonder what happened to it. We, uh, Northern Maidens. We were ship delayed. Ship ready to go. Before you even ask, yes, flies you requested. But. But what? This load cost me double what we agreed on. Prospecting for Ebony. Nothing I can do about it. You're wasting your time. The morn draws a bow. don't seem to be in quite the same state as the others here. Very interesting. May I ask what it is you're doing here? Mirak, Mirak. It sounds familiar, and yet I can't quite place... Oh, wait, I, I recall. That makes very little sense. Mirak's been dead for thousands of years. I'm not sure, but it is fascinating. Isn't it? Perhaps it has some relation to what's going on here. Quite unexpected. I'm afraid I can't give you any answers, but there are ruins of an ancient temple of Mirax toward the center of the island. If I were you, I'd look there. Building something, clearly. And yet they don't seem to have much to say about it. 
I'm very interested to find out what happens when they finish. Certainly not. Doing so would interfere with whatever is going on. And I would be unable to see how this all turns out. It's the homeland of the Dunman. The lesser races call us Dark Elves. We built great works there, like Vivek and Aldru. Many of them are destroyed now, either by Red Mountain or the Argonian invasion. It is the only place where silt striders can be found. Although I managed to transplant a few here when I arrived. Hmm. Here in his shrine. That they have forgotten. Here do we toil. That we might remember. By night we recline. What's feedless? That seems inadvisable. Oh, fascinating. By touching the stone. You appear to have fallen under whatever influence is affecting the others. Ah, so you are able to resist the effect by exerting your will. Our eyes once were blinded. Hmm? You are too young to remember the Nero, believe me. He defeated Degahur and saved us all from the blight. The ignorant think it is only a place of ash and lava. It has rolling green plains and swamps and verdant hills, too. When the city of Vivek was destroyed, it took decades for us to rebuild. And when the world we are still but a shadow of our glorious past, but someday we will rise again. The there is the big island of Ardenfell and the coastal mainland. House Telvani has its properties on Bardenfell. I've the never been to the mainland strong. myself. Red Mountain dominates the island. Every now and then, ash and debris from an eruption land on our shores. That's that step that we might remember. By night we reclaim what by day was stolen. I work for Mogul. You got a problem, you talk to him. I'll give you this warning only once. Stay out of my way, and we'll do just fine. No, wait. I recognize the name, but I'm not sure why. I don't know. I feel strange just thinking about it. A temple, maybe. 
here on the island, something about a temple? All right, then. The best swordsman in all Morrowind is at your service. Uh, for the right price. Now we have all sorts of authentic dark elf food and drink here. Geldis spares no expense. Did I know someone by that name? Someone. Someone that wanted something. Maybe I'm just confused. I can't be sure. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the wretching niche, Outlander. What can I get you? The finest suit jam at across your lips, friend. My own personal formula that I call Sadri's Sujama. In fact, I've just added some new ingredients to the mixture that I think makes it taste better than ever. All I need to do is get the war out that it's ready, and they'll flock here for it. I was kind of hoping you'd say that. Here, take these samples of the Sujama and spread the word. If you get rid of all of them, there's something extra in it for you. Merkel doesn't lend coin to outlanders. Look somewhere else. Welcome to the... We have all sorts of authentic dark elf food and drink here. Geldis spares no expense. Sorry. Geldis won't allow me to drink while I'm working at the Nech. Sorry. Geldis won't allow me to drink while I'm working at the Nech. The Until best swordsman time. in all Morrowind. You looking for trouble? I'll give you this warning Stay only once. For the right Take that swill and pour it down a well. Now, if you'll excuse me. If you're looking for passage to Barton. You're out of luck. No ships are heading that way.
Lucretius, last time you explored the mine, you almost fell to your death. I'm not spending the rest of my days as a widow. And I'm telling you that I'll do whatever it takes to find my great-grandfather's remains. He's down here. I can feel it. That was almost two centuries ago. There may be nothing left to find. Just let me go, woman. Lucretius, you're an obstinate old fool, and you're going to get yourself killed. Apologies for Cretius's ravings. Oh, that sounds lovely. Thank you. That foolish old man thinks he's 30 years younger than he is. He's going to get himself killed traipsing around the mine. He's convinced himself that there's some sort of conspiracy involving the East Empire Company and the mine's closure. He came across some old letters that belonged to his great-grandfather in our house, and he believes every word written in them. Lucretius' great-grandfather worked for the East Empire Company. The letters mention some sort of discovery he was sent to investigate. There's really nothing remarkable in the letters. I don't know what he's so excited about. Gratian Corellius. He was an explorer for the East Empire Company. They'd send him all over Tamriel when they had difficulties in a mining operation. Poor man. Can you imagine doing all that dangerous work just to end up dying at your own doorstep? There was a horrible accident, and he was killed when one of the tunnels collapsed. They were never even able to go down there and recover the body. The East Empire Company sealed that section off to prevent any more tragedies. Cretius is convinced it's a story cooked up by the Company to cover up something else, but I don't know. My beloved is almost 80 years old, and I think the shock of finding one of his ancestors' things has left his mind a bit... confused. I love him dearly, and I support everything he does. But I can't let him chase this silly idea, or he may end up joining Gratian in a rocky grave. I think so, but from where? I can't recall. It's difficult. Something about it doesn't feel right. Uh, the temple, here on the island. That's all I can recall. To understand how we met one another, you have to appreciate what he's going through. Cretius is a third-generation miner. All his life, he's lived and breathed nothing else. By the time Cretius came of age, the ebony mine in Raven Rock was shut down. He took that quite hard. Our home has been in his family for over 200 years. Leaving would have been like abandoning precious memories. Instead, he stayed on Sol's time and spent most of his life prospecting for a new ebony source. Sadly, it never surfaced. A decade ago, this drove him into a deep depression. He shut himself inside his home and refused to come out. It was, after refusing to allow anyone to bring him food, Counselor Morvane ordered his door to be knocked down before Cretius starved to death. I was a temple priest at the time, and they had me use my healing arts to restore strength to his ailing body. I stayed for a while and cared for him, then... I suppose we fell in love. Far from it. In fact, I'm no longer welcome there. In all honesty, it came down to a disagreement between what I believe and what Elder Othraloth believes. I'd prefer not to get into the details, but let's just say our opinions about the current status of the Tribunal vary widely. Be careful out there. Who in the blazes are you? Can't you see I'm busy? Why should I tell you? I don't even know who you are. 
Hmm. Maybe. Been difficult trusting people lately. They think I'm crazy. But mark my words, these mines hold a secret that could put Raven Rock back on the map. A secret the East Empire Company swept under the rug two centuries ago. It killed my great grandfather and left Raven Rock with a worthless and tainted mind. Gratian Kyrenius. He spent his entire life exploring ancient ruins across Tamiya. He died in these very mines almost 200 years ago. The East Empire Company called it a terrible accident, claiming that he was lost in a rockfall, but I know better. My wife and I were cleaning out our home came across some of my great-grandfather's things locked in an old chest. I found an unsent letter he'd written to the East Empire Company, and a key. It describes a discovery that was made in the mine by some of the diggers. They wanted Gratian to take a closer look. The East Empire Company must have felt it was of great value, as they locked that section of the mine off from everyone else. It is. Well, I assume it is. I haven't been able to find the entrance. Now you're starting to sound like everyone else. I'm telling you, there's something big down there. Something that the East Empire Company wanted to hide from everyone. Look, my wife nags that I'm too old to go traipsing around these mines chasing my story. Time's my enemy. It's caught up with me before I can find the answers that I'm looking for. I do. I want to know what happened to Gracia, and what the East Empire Company is keeping from all of us. Gratian kept a journal of notes about his discoveries. If you can find his remains, I'm hoping it will help. Here's everything I have. The letter, the key. Please, do this for me, so I can finally regain the respect that I've lost. Hmm. Begging for patrons again, eh? Well, I suppose I could have just a bit. Look, I know I don't have much to go on. I have that unsent letter, and that's really it. But I also have a miner's instinct that's run in my family from before Gratian was even born. I may sound like a crazy old man to you, but I'm telling you, the tunnels here are solid. They would never collapse like that. She thinks that old age is out of my mind, that I'm seeing things when there's nothing to be seen. I realize she cares about me, but she has to understand that I can't rest until I find out what happened to Gracia. Then I'll settle down peacefully and never set foot in this mine again. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time, even before I discovered Gratian's old things. I just hope both of you don't mistake my enthusiasm for insanity. I recognize the name. I don't know how I know it. It sounds so familiar. It's so strange. I feel like it's from a dream. Something about the earth stone and a shrine. That's it. That's all I can think of. Be careful. Man, mine can be treacherous. Leading Cretius on, I'll never understand.
Try the lower sections of the mine. I've never been able to get that far. 